The Opera House has been doing autism friendly performances for a couple of years now and today has been a fantastic collaboration with Opera Australia and Giant Steps. A lot of work has had to go into preparing the students. So it was a long process in working through the logistical implications. We had a lot of sensory considerations so we worked with um, headphones and chewies and fidget toys. We had a meet your seat excursion. We had the performers come to Giant Steps. The school and the teachers rehearsed the songs and they knew the music and what to expect. We also had chill out spaces. You know, we had the right front of house staff, we had volunteers. We have all learned an incredible amount. The relationship with Giant Steps enabled us to understand all of the different elements that go into making autism friendly performance. We know that Evie loves music and she loves performance and it reaches in to her and creates a common bond of communication. I think that what we're doing is, um, is quite groundbreaking. It's only by doing pilots that everyone around, from the company to the venue, can see that it works, see what people get out of it, how worthwhile it is. We can show through these events like this one today, that things are possible and we can with little resources but by partnering make things happen. The Opera House is the most iconic building and Opera Strata is the flagship opera company so to have children with autism to be able to come like anyone else is really important. The fact that a little girl who loves ballet can go to the ballet, a little girl who loves seeing a show, can see a show a show with beautiful songs and colour and movement and that tells a story, a fundamentally human story. I mean, that means a lot.